Hey Cerebellas, welcome hey. back to my channel. Today, for the official first time and not a prank, we have my husband. It's your first time being my husband on my channel. How do you feel? Excited. Okay, so we are gonna just talk about a few things about our wedding and then next week, the 13th of September, is when you guys need to come back to see our wedding video. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Excited. For us, um, one of the things that Trevino said that was actually quite funny but true, he wanted... I say a lot of funny things. He wanted a photographer that was a bit older and who has been in the industry for longer, but he wanted videographers who are young. And that's exactly, exactly what we got. I think that photographer and videographer is the first ones that we chose. Yeah. We met with others, that. but we were like, okay, we're going so on them. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for you guys to see the videographer's work. It is... Amazing, amazing. And then also a funny story about the venue. When Trina and I initially started saying we were gonna get married this year, it was December. So I think like in Feb or something of this year, we were looking at venues and I contacted the venue we got married at, Royal Johannesburg in Kensington. Is it Royal Johannesburg in Kensington or Royal I think it's Kensington? Royal, Royal Johannesburg. Kensington. Royal Johannesburg. Yeah. Anyway, that venue. We um so in, initially, like in Feb, I would say Jan or Feb, we were supposed to go meet with them because that's where we were supposed to have our wedding. And then things just happened and then we drifted to other venues, mm -hmm. but we eventually did Ended come back, back to then. Royal Kensington. And how cool is it that it was a golf course wedding and you... I always wanted to get married on a golf course because I grew up directly opposite a golf course, which was amazing. What about how we chose the DJ? The DJ was pretty cool. Yeah, and also we were at a point where we were stuck between two DJs and we uh, didn't uh, know. I was not stuck between two DJs. Trevino was stuck between two DJs. Okay, I was fine. Went. Why are we sitting like so formal? Like, oh no. No, I don't like sitting like that. I was not stuck between two DJs. I knew who I wanted and I liked him from the beginning. Trevino was stuck between two DJs because the one DJ was very sweet and very like. No, but he was also oh. sharp and he seemed organized and he had. Mm. Yeah, he was cool. Aww. I don't know, eh? This DJ that we had, DJs at a club called Madison Avenue in Rufonia for the charos that go there. <laughs> the he was such a cool DJ, like he played all That's the good. music that I wanted from 90s R&B, like Bangra music, mm. new music. And the music. advantage they had was that they are the preferred venue uh, DJs. Yeah, so, they're the preferred supplier. Yeah. It was cool. And then our cake. So Steffi from Crumbs Creations actually baked my 25th birthday cake. Mm. You guys can watch that video, I'll link it somewhere here. Um, yeah, so she also baked our wedding cake. Trevino and I only tasted that wedding cake the day that she brought us the cake tasting, to taste. Yeah, we were so excited, it was delicious. Hey? It was so good, it was the, the best was vanilla. Really good. Yeah, it, the, so the top layer was chai and the middle one was vanilla and the bottom one was a dummy layer. Because let me tell you why, we were smart and we chose a dummy layer. <laughs> so I think with all the planning, we knew what we wanted to spend our money on mm. and what we didn't want to spend money yeah. on. And one of the things we didn't want to spend money on was on a three-tier cake. Because at the end of the evening, I don't know if you saw, but the table with the coffee and tea on it, the cake was just lying there. Yeah. Cut up in slices, waiting on plates, and no one ate cake. And part of the three-course menu was dessert, so people got There was already dessert well. in, in our menu, which was cool. Um, what else did we save on and what else did we splurge on? I saved on my dress because I hired it. Because there's no way that I'm spending like over 10 grand on a dress to let it lie and chill. That was a big one though. Yeah, that was huge. A Can huge I... saving. Oh, we saved on our wedding night hotel. Because, um, so if you guys don't know, I'm a brand ambassador for a spa called Evolve Day Spa. And they are based in a hotel called the Premier Hotel. It's close to Orange Tambo. That was amazing. So they sponsored us the, our wedding night hotels, which was very 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 good for our budget something else we saved on that i just remembered can i tell my story yeah my wedding ring so that was pretty cool i've always known what type of wedding ring i wanted so it had to be nine carat and white gold and i told you this so there was a jewelry store that was closing down in a mall and they had a huge sale so 60 percent off everything and i went in there and i said guys i'm looking for the wedding ring do you by any chance have this they're like yeah sure we have one and it's a size q though put it on perfect fit didn't know that was my size as well and I paid like not even less than one third of what it was actually worth. Nine carat white gold made for me waiting. And both our rings are engraved on the inside. They both yeah, have the same engraving. Cool. What does it I, say inside? I can't mark, mark 10, 9 I think. I can't read mine. Correct. 
Yeah, what is marked in life? What God has joined together, let no man separate. Hallelujah. Let no one separate. Same thing. Some some translations say let yeah. no man put asunder. Okay, not asunder, but asunder. <laughs> okay. Then when it came to the order of events. Now I think this is one of the things that gave me the most, most, most joy. Guys, wow. I had an Excel, a Google Sheets. It did as well. Excel document. Everything it went. Everything perfect. was planned to a T. Everything surprisingly enough for Indian wedding where people are always late. We started on time. On time. It was punctual. amazing. So our order of events at the wedding ceremony was like a normal wedding, I would yeah, say. Traditional white wedding. Um, the only thing that did change is before Trevino and I did cocktail hour, we wanted our grandparents, parents and siblings to step aside and do like a photo shoot with us. So that was very sweet and it's memories that we'll have forever. Yeah. And then um, while we were doing our cocktail hour, we had photo booth there. That I'll was amazing. link all People our suppliers had fun. in the links below. Um, yeah, people, it was amazing. This lady was, she came, she set up during cocktail hour. It was unlimited prints. It's out of focus. Is it out of focus? I don't have my glasses. <laughs> Everything is out of focus right now. Uh, but if you go close, it's going to be in focus. It was also sent to us on a link, like on a little micro site afterwards. So the day after the wedding, everyone also got to see the pictures, which was very, very cool. Um, and then Trevino and I went inside after our cocktail hour. But one of the cool things that I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, was the way that we planned the reception uh -huh. so we didn't want people to sit there for like an hour oh, or an hour and a half cool. of formalities we wanted people to be able to break and to eat because it was a long day people got there and slotting the pictures and slotting pictures so what we did was we had the welcome and then we had starters and while people were having starters we started calling up families for pictures then we had more speeches we had mains while people were having mains we had more people come up for pictures like family photos and then we had more speeches the garter the ring uh, the ring wow the garter the bouquet um and the dessert and while people were having dessert we were doing more pictures and then we did photos. A lot of pictures here eh? on the day. No, we didn't do photos then. Yeah, it was a lot. It was amazing. And then we did our first dance and everything was epic and everything worked out. It went exactly, exactly the way Point we wanted. Plan, yeah. It was amazing. Shout out to yeah. Siobhan at Royal Kensington for keeping yep. everyone in line. Standing at the altar waiting for you, and I think he cried, guys. He cried. Yeah, so both of my cousins were there. One was playing the violin, one was singing. So while waiting for Selena, you had to put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's in the video, right? Yeah. Not too much. There was something in my eye, mm. but anyway, yeah. Just when the music started, there was this presence. Like it's hard to explain, but yeah, you could you could feel it. Yeah. It was really really amazing, and then watching you. So his cousins that sang and played amazing. the violin, they did Hosanna by Israel Houghton, which I love that song. Yeah. And then also one of the other things that was really, really, really special for me was um, after our first dance, my lady sold the DJ Jazzy D version and that yeah. is our family song and our family does a certain family thing. And pub. I'm not going to expose us because I don't want people to steal it, but I also do it when we go to the clubs. I'm like, woo! But anyway. So that's our family song. So as soon as our song finished, which is why can't I don't remember the name? I can see it, it's a long one. God must have spent a little more time on you. So after we did our song, that was the song that played immediately after. And Fun everyone came there, on the eh? dance floor and it was like, oh my word, our families are finally together because a lot of our families haven't seen each other before. In a long time, yeah. So it was amazing that that, that moment where everyone came together is just something that, that I have cool. in my heart forever. And the other thing also that I really thought was special was when I was saying my speech and everyone was crying. Yeah, your speech was dope. My speech, I spoke about like I would say 95% of the people in that room mm. and I called each and every one of them out by their name and I said something that we were grateful for and just like basically um, showed gratitude for the family and the friends that mm. we have in our life. So my granny kind of invited someone without telling us. <laughs> and we found out the day before, before the, the wedding. wedding. Yeah. But thank God somebody cancelled. So we just took their whole yeah. place setting and moved it to a different table to accommodate. How are you gonna fight with your granny, man? Yeah, like we weren't gonna do that. It was yeah. just it was like What? Selena panicked. I didn't panic, I panicked. She's like everybody is here except the violinist and I'm like, what? 
because obviously she's playing for me to walk down the aisle. And she was like, no, she just got a little bit lost, but they're on their way. Okay, calm, but I was so calm, like you were, nothing you were really, calm. nothing really, guys, I walked down the aisle with no underwear. Like, whoa, you're just gonna <laughs> whoop that out like that, not even warn people, like, like just. Like, no underwear. I bought underwear, it was in my bag. The day of the wedding, I couldn't find it. It was in my bag. The next day when we went to Cape Town, I had that bag with me and I found the underwear that I was supposed to wear. So that was one of the hiccups that I walked on the aisle with no underwear. But not only that, when we were getting ready, my two uh, maids of honor, they were just like walking around. They're like, no, we're going for a walk. So I'm like, okay. Then my mom phones me and she's like, my mother panics. My mother is panic mechanic. <laughs> she was panicking. She's like, did I find it? Did I find it? Are they, what are they going to do? And I'm like, ma, what are you talking about? I don't know what's going on. She's like, didn't they tell you? One of my maids of honors, Lavona, her, so we had infinity dresses and it was like a really long skirt and then like a boob tube thingy and then you wrap it around. Her boob tube part was missing and it was not in the bag. Yeah. And then they came back and I'm like, guys, why didn't you tell me? And I was laughing and they're like, oh, we didn't want to stress you out. But it was so funny. We made a plan. We wrapped that thing around and no one noticed. It was all good. It worked out. It was all good. It wasn't too much oh, of a the cake smash, tumper, yeah, but that was okay. It was supposed to say Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Naidu, but it just said Mr. and Mrs. But it was fine. I think that's that's pretty much it, which is yeah. not a major thing. Like, uh, maybe other couples would have freaked out and panicked. But what we were just chilling. Yeah, what I'm happy about is that we took in every moment, mm -hmm. and regardless of whatever might have been a small hiccup, it didn't distract us. If from nothing the day. distracted us from. We were like present in the moment, even though it goes so quick. Like people tell you how quick the day we're getting goes, there. but yeah, we're getting there. That wasn't recording. <laughs> okay guys, it wasn't recording because we stopped to check the footage because the footage was so blurry. It went in and out of focus. So this is the last so thing. Right Let's now. just end it. This is how I was the whole time that something went wrong for the wedding. I was just like... Hmm. Okay, advice for other engaged couples. <laughs> take everything in. <laughs> it really goes by really, really, really quickly. Yeah. Do yeah. you guys? <laughs> Do what makes sense. We like, said all of this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just yeah, take it slow. Enjoy the moment. Uh, Do what's right for you guys. Mm. If you guys want to have, if you guys want to have a sorry, <laughs> you want to talk as I talk. I'm like trying to talk. Okay, like, I know it's but really, I want to say what you said before. But now you're not saying the it. The marriage counseling came to mind, and that's super important. Okay. So okay. if you engage, like your marriage counseling. Helps. It's amazing. It's Premarital counseling, not marriage counseling. We don't have issues. My sister was like, "Aka, why are you going for counseling? Are you fighting?" Can't you edit this? No. Premarital so, counseling. Premarital counseling. And what he said before, when we thought it was recording and it wasn't recording, was about do what's right for you. Yeah. If you want to have a small wedding, have a small wedding. If you want to have a big flashy wedding, have a big flashy don't wedding. Don't do things to please people. Please, to please other people. I feel like you're hating on me, right? Like, do things, do things yeah, to don't, please don't things, wow. Don't do things to please other people. What? <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this video was a mess. I'm sorry if it was like really blurry. I don't know what's going on with Now it camera. seems to be perfectly in now, focus. Now it's perfectly in focus. Do you want to zoom again? Uh, not again, but do you have any other questions? No, I don't. Else? I don't. Okay. Come back 13 September at 12.30 for our official official wedding video it's not the full wedding video because that's yeah. something for us but we do have something for you guys to thank you to is. rust to roses no must be a surprise Hits. thank you to rust to roses babe this thing is like uh, it's in focus now so good